Well, we're back here at the RCTV main stage at the Reading Fall Street Fair, bringing you coverage from all the whole street fair and all the many things that are going on. My name is Kevin Vent. This is Laura Crook. And Glad we are, you're here. Yeah, we are your hosts. And we are here today with Tom Conroy. He is running for state treasurer. Welcome today, sir. It's great to have, uh, it's great to be on the show. It's great to be here in Reading. Yeah, thank great you. Great to for have you. Yeah, thank you for showing up for the street fair today. And uh, I know you've been walking around seeing people. Anything, any favorite part of the street fair you've seen today? Uh, well, a lot of different uh, nonprofits out there really uh, helping some of the folks who are in some tough disadvantaged uh, situations, whether I think we just went to some folks with disabilities that mm -hmm. they're trying to help okay. out. Uh, others were moms that need um, home furnishings once they get out of a homeless situation, uh, that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, it's great that there are charitable organizations out there helping the needy. Um, and as a state representative, you know, government has a role in doing the same, and I've been a big fan of that, a uh, big supporter of, of those kind of services up at the State House. Awesome, awesome. So, um, why are you, what drew you to running for treasurer? Well, uh, I believe the treasurer actually has a lot of authority to open up educational and job opportunities for people, and I, I want to accomplish that mm -hmm. as the next treasurer, hopefully over the next eight years. Um, I am guided as a state rep, and I've been guided even when I worked in the private sector by trying to address this issue of economic fairness, economic justice, opening up opportunities for people. Uh, the best thing that you can offer anybody, as I found out throughout the course of my 30 years in professional life, is a good steady job with decent wages and decent benefits. And uh, I've done that in the private sector. I've tried to focus on that in the, at, at the State House for the past eight years as a state rep. I'm the chairman of the Labor and Workforce Development Committee. Um, I actually led the charge on increasing our minimum wage, which has been a great boost to uh, families, uh, working families throughout Massachusetts. And I want to do the same kind of work, uh, helping manage our finances and lifting people up, giving new or more opportunities for folks as the next tre treasurer. So what do you see as the treasurer's number one responsibility? Mm. Well, actually, there's five major, and I'll try to get through them real quickly, five major responsibilities. Some of them uh, people know the, the lottery is managed by the treasurer. Mm -hmm. The Massachusetts School Building Authority, a hugely important program for cities and towns as they renovate and rebuild their schools. They come to the treasurer for money and project management assistance. Managing the $60 billion pension fund is the third major responsibility. So any state employee uh, is uh, hoping to have that uh, <laughs> pension fund be solvent and the treasurer is responsible for making that I would happen. I so. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's, that's, a, that's a big piece of this. Managing the Commonwealth's checking account. Just like mm -hmm. all three of us probably have checking accounts mm -hmm. at a bank, the treasurer needs to decide where to invest those billions of dollars mm -hmm. any given day. Right. A Swiss bank account, a California mutual fund, or what I'd like to do. Local banks mm -hmm. right here in Massachusetts, they can lend more to local businesses, invest in local uh, people and hire folks into local Main Street middle class jobs, perhaps like some of the vendors that are right here at the uh, the Reading Street Fair. All right, excellent. Yeah. Have you had a chance to sample any of the food here at the Street Fair Not today? yet, but that's next. I'm looking <laughs> forward to Do you have any suggestions? Well, we... <laughs> Harrow's um, is giving away little um, single serving samples of their amazing pot pies. And pot then, pies. yes. Interesting. And then there's a, um, the cupcake shop yeah, is. Cupcake City. Yeah. Cupcake, cupcake, cupcake City, City is City. a couple doors down from that. So you can have a little main, main meal, meal, a little dessert. A little dessert. <laughs> Sounds great. We'll have yeah. to check those out. <laughs> thank right. you very much. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here today. And thank you for coming on down to the street fair. This is uh, Tom Conroy. He's running for treasurer mm -hmm. for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Good luck, sir, on Tuesday in the primary and again in, uh, in November. Thank you very All much. Right. Again, Tom, uh, vote on Tuesday for Tom for treasurer. That's the easiest way to remember it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We will be back shortly here on RCTV.